Good evening. Hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, what's going on, Mr. 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 John Blasting Game? Hey, I'm in the house. That's what's happening. You are in the house. Hold on for a second. Let me set you up. We live everywhere, baby. So for God, all my listeners, man, let, me, let me I'm I got the opportunity tonight to sit down with an incredibly gifted everything guy. You know what I'm saying? When I say wow. I'm saying a publisher, I'm saying a director, I'm saying promoter. I mean, you know, mentor, we're going to get into it. You're going to hear some of the things that me and this cat talk about, man, how long he's been in the business, man, how many people he has done things that are in this business, man. This is truly, 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 truly a legendary icon in this game that we call publishing. Um, once again, welcome, Mr. John Blassingame. Well, thank you, Sam, and uh, it's good to be here. Good to be here. So... Tell everybody where you're originally from. And well, originally from I'm, I'm originally from New Jersey. Okay. And uh, tra traveled all over the country and uh, done so many things in the, in the publishing, yes. show producing, yes. helped a lot of people <laughs> in the, um, uh, you know, filmmaking, uh, publishing, modeling, designing, etc. Yes. Over the years. Yes. Now, now. We're going to get into all that. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? So, so what was the first thing? Because back in the day, you was inspired by something or somebody to do something. Well, uh, uh, let me just say this. I was the first black mm -hmm. that was hired by Hearst Magazine. That's Cosmo, Good House, Harper's Bazaar. And I had the biggest afro you ever want to see. Okay, the white boys, they, they definitely laughed and they joked, but I know that I was there for a purpose and a reason. Right. And the reason was to learn their ways because they wasn't let, letting black titles in to be distributed, okay, by uh, the system. I call mm -hmm. it the system. Right. Okay. Right. So I, I I stayed there. I worked with the uh, with Hurge for five uh, years. Then I worked on the wholesale side up with Hudson News. Okay, I learned their ways. Then uh, I, I uh, came out and worked for a company called America Distributors. Okay, All America was the um, the the publisher of the. Of, uh, uh, it was Players Magazine at that time. <laughs> All right, Players Magazine, and then they had a few other uh, titles, and then they had a book line called Holloway House. Okay, Holloway House was Donald Goins, Iceberg Slim, Radcliffe series. So, and they were out on uh, Melrose Avenue in L.A., mm -hmm. and I handled the East Coast for them. Right. Okay. Uh, worked with uh, with Bentley Mars. Well, Bentley was a white boy that that, that owned it, and then I had they had the uh, black guy that came up with Players Magazine. You know, Players was for uh, the magazine was the same as Playboy, right? Okay, mm, but right. It, for a, it, it, it was a black Playboy, right? Okay, right. and uh, what the, you know what what we did was we got the magazine out there. Okay, Sid was the uh, the original founder, but Bentley was the money, mm. Jew Jewish guy. So okay. you know the deal. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So when <laughs> so, so when uh, Sid got uh, too aggressive, Bentley just kept up, took the whole magazine over. Okay, and kept it moving. Right. Right. And that was if you uh, Google it, you it'll tell you about Players Magazine. For he who is a player. So that had to be a real pivotal moment in our history because mm -hmm. at that time nobody was letting <laughs> black folks do nothing in the no. publishing. And then it did, uh, Mr. Johnson, who I met, okay, I mean, he tried to do the, to put Negro Digest, which is Negro uh, before uh, that was the name before it was named Ebony Magazine. Okay, they wouldn't okay. let. Them distribute the magazine. Wow. 
All right. right. The, the system would not let him distribute it. So what he had to do was he had to get all the black newspapers, all right, and have them put it out and, and, and get it out there, okay? Mm -hmm. And eventually he, 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 he got the black newspaper people and eventually the wholesalers would uh, let him uh, or, or take his product and distribute it for him. Okay, uh, you know the white. Then the white boys, the national distributors, wanted them to. They, you know, they tried to court him to take, uh, to to come and let them distribute it for him. But right. Mr. Johnson did it on his own for a long while. For a long while. Okay, so everything right. that was distributed by by him, but mm -hmm. he would do was print it, and then send it to the wholesaler through his own distribution mechanism, wow. okay, for a long while. Before, and then eventually he went with one of the larger national distributors, which was Curtis Circulation Company, mm -hmm. okay? And, but, you know, this is how that system played us. They would right. not let us, uh, would, would not let us be equal or not let us give us uh, uh, as a chance, mm -hmm. okay, to have our own. Okay, and and that was for a long while, you know. So with all of these accolades that you got, um, you know, and just going like, did you get a degree in, in any type of like media things or are you just kind of like took it on and gradually? Well, uh, I, gra I took, I, I, I gra it was uh, taking it on, knowing what I was doing and making it work. Right. <laughs> okay. The school of hard knocks. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, so, you know dude, I, we absolutely know what you're saying. And by you moving in the way that you're moving, of course, you, you, you broke up. You, you, uh, your sound went out. Uh, let's see. to come back but you know he was just telling us about some of the iconic things Sonny, mm -hmm. that he's been able to do throughout the years so a lot of people don't know that you know back in the 50s and the 60s and the 70s we was influenced a lot by what we read yeah and if they wasn't allowing us to read things about our own culture it was hidden it was, <laughs> for a long time. It was hidden for a long time. And then on top of that, you know, some of the publications that was out there, um, if you were able to publish something, if you were able to write a book, it cost you probably an exorbitant amount of money, you know, and then there was nobody out there to actually be looking out for us. And then hence, that's where, you know, the, the, the great, John Blasting game came along and he was able to do some of the things that he was able to do. Not some of the things, a lot of the different things that he was doing. Like a lot of people really, you know, depending on what your age is, mm -hmm. a lot of people don't maybe even remember Ebony Magazine or don't remember Jet Magazine. You, you know, these are some of the beginnings of, of us being able to kind of expand our culture throughout the world, not just the country, because, mm -hmm. you know, people was always looking, looking one of our magazines because, you know, a lot of different things that we were doing back in the day, you know, but those of us that know about Jet Magazine, there was, there was page 43. <laughs> mm. and, but we'll talk about that. Then John then done got back with us and then here you go again, he's back. You welcome, know. welcome back. Thank you. Good to be back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, so a lot of the different, so I was just kind of explaining to Sonny, like in the back when you had started, John, there was no other outlet for us, for our culture to be recognized in different ways. Exactly. They had the system on lock. You know what I'm they, saying? They, well, they, they, and that's exactly what they did. Mm -hmm. They, they play, put the system on lockdown and unless you had a connection or knew how to maneuver your way through the system, 
right. your publication would never be out, get out there. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's why I I took the negative attitude of the the the, the system and I tried to learn it and and then play it back to them. Right. All right. After I learned how to use it. Okay. And that's what that that's what, what it was all about. Learning their ways and learning how to you know, who do you go to? How do you get this done? How do you get that done? What is a barcode? What is a UPC code? Yeah. You know, what is a production schedule? How do you you because if you don't know when you go to them, you know, they're not going to do you any justice. No. Okay. So you learn all these things. Then once you, once someone comes up to you and say, Hey, I want to, I want to start a magazine. Or back then I wanted to start a mag, I want to start a magazine. You knew how to address it to them on what they had to do in order to take their, their, their publication to another level. Right. Okay. And so I was just explaining to Sonny, like not only with the magazine business, but just publication in general. Like if you wanted to publish a book back then and you was black, I'm sure it cost you an exorbitant yeah. amount of money. Oh, to oh what a, without a doubt, uh, it, it, it's, it's a um, Ingram periodicals, which had the Ingram books and, and, and um, you know, you would have to go them and they would uh, put you out online and then they, they would print up your book and what have you but they would cause it would cause an exorbitant amount of money there right. were a few black there was a few black publications company uh right. tony rhodes uh, uh tony had a a publishing company for black books and what have you mm -hmm. okay um zane zane had who was that author she she uh, she would work with you there was, uh, and and then um there was a, a another another one another publishing company, okay, uh, Wahida Clark, okay. who would work with you. Would she? Wahida had uh, a lot of the, the books, like say, out of the that dealt with the prisons and what have you. Okay, these were people that, that you know over the years that I have uh, worked with, networked with. When a publisher comes to me and I, they ask me to help them out, then I'm able to take them to another level and and get their publications out there. <laughs> okay, but but it was it, it was a struggle. No, I, I I imagine it was a struggle, and back then it it had to be a lot of discrimination. It had to be a lot of not wanting you in the room. You know what I'm saying? And, and without a doubt, well, you, that, well, hey, listen, I went through it all. I went through <laughs> it all. And listen, and if you look at what's going on today, they're still doing it. Yes. yes. They're still doing it. The system is still playing you. Right. Okay. Right. And mm -hmm. that's what I try and teach a lot of the young folks today. You know, prepare yourself. Right. Because these are those days, and these are really tough days. Now, you see what they're getting ready to do with this this whole ploy that they're right. trying to play with as, 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 as far as uh the system and 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 they're getting ready to go yeah the default on on the payments and what have you hey right. if they default who's going to pay you know the welfare checks the social right. security what they, all right <laughs> that's all gonna stop so they and, they and and they're putting these scare tactics on you right, right? absolutely what's some of the who's some of the greatest writers that you've had an opportunity to help I don't want to tell a story. I know I know you personally. So for all my listeners out there, y'all don't understand something. This man has been my mentor for quite some time. So mm -hmm. when I step into places <coughs> me and they want well, to no, we, 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 listen, we got Media Made out there with you. <laughs> all right, Media Made magazine. I work with as I said, I work with Essence. Uh okay. Jonathan Blount, uh Cecil Hollingford, and and Ed Lewis. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I helped them uh, when they they first started Essence Magazine. All right, I worked with Mr. Bernard Bronner with Upscale Magazine. Right. All right. Thirty years ago, I helped them start Upscale. Mm -hmm. I'm working. I work and still. Uh, Ten years ago, I started Sheen Magazine was a pamphlet. Okay. okay at the Bonner Brothers show, I met Miss Kim Chapman. 
uh, from that pamphlet. Now it's one of the l largest black magazines on the newsstand. That's what mm. it's just, okay. Up? So, yeah. I mean, all these publications and basically when it, what happened was I've learned the system, learned how to play, you know, well, how the system plays you. Right. And now <laughs> all, and a new publication comes out, you know, uh, I'm able to help them get into the Barnes and Nobles and Books of Millions and, and the newsstands across the country. Okay. Right. Because I've been, I've, I've been around and I've learned the, the ways to how to get past that. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I always say the struggles that they put in front of us. Okay. Yes. So, yes. and, and take it to another level. I mean, you know, and, 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 and let me tell you how <clears throat> I started the production company. Okay. And when okay. I was doing the shows, there was a magazine out called Us Quarterly. The publisher's name was Dwayne Love. Okay. And um, he, I, I helped him distribute the magazine. I helped him get started for distribution, et cetera. But Dwayne wanted to promote the magazine. So he came to me and said, John, how do I get promotion of the magazine while I, you know, while I'm putting it on the newsstand? How do I get out there? Because there was no social media in 1976. Right. Okay. So I said, well, Dwayne, <clears throat> let's do a fashion show. Mm. Okay. And let's invite some of the supermodels. Like we had Peggy Diller back there. Uh, Peggy Diller. Uh, uh, we had uh, Suki Smith. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we had a few other models that that were well known black models. Okay, but I said let's also bring out some of the young models that are trying to make it in the industry. Right. Okay. <clears throat> and let's do a major show. Invite some, and that back then. It was Essence and Ebony, mm. which were the top fashion model uh, magazines. Okay. So Dwayne agreed. We put the show on. Okay. Uh, uh, shucks. Well, we're going to wait for this last game probably back on. He ain't went out yet, but we just can't see him. Um, but I just goes to show you something about how much work did this cat them put in this business. I mean, a lot of us do different things today thinking that we were the first to think of this. Right. Or it's easy to kind of make a publication or a book or whatever the case is, not even knowing that the path had to be paid for you to even get this month because there's somebody out there like Mr. Blasting Game who's been working in the background for quite some time, making it easier for us to be able to do the things that we able to get done. And so, you know, I kind of know a little bit about, I can't tell his story, but I can kind of tell you about. Well, even, it, um, even when the part where he was talking about you know, they kind of make it hard for us to get certain things. But I always tell you, even with Media Made and what we're out here doing, all you need is one yes. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Because when there's a will, there's a way. Just because one person says no, don't mean it won't circle back around to you and your end. Right. Right. So, that's tough. so no, and that's, that's, that's clearly, you know, what it is. You can't allow other people to stop you and stop your progress. Just right. stop what the vision that you have because mm -hmm. because like like mr black's game just said you know what i mean like when i came up in the game uh he seen my magazine he seen a really raw copy of what i did of, right. you know of what was being done i want to say what i did because it took a bunch of us to make it happen mm -hmm. and he's seen a raw copy of it and then once he's seen that raw copy 
you know, I got a call from him and, you know, we had discussions and he understood the vision of what I was trying to do. Mm -hmm. And he's been there for me ever since. It's like, you know, I can call this man. It's, it's very few people that you could call at any time of the day. Yes. I mean, and any, they'll drop anything at this time. And any time of the day, when I would call Mr. Black's game, he would answer and he would advise or tell me a certain direction or we would map out a plan. I mean, you know, and it, and it, and it went deeper than that. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes mm -hmm. it was just a matter of just having a conversation. You know, I might have something on my mind or idea or something I need to get past or challenges that's in front of me. That part. That part. <laughs> and Blast would help me get right. You know, yeah. and y'all hear me call him that. Anybody can't call him that. <laughs> like, you got to be of a certain, he got to, <laughs> you know what I mean? You got to know you. He. Everybody just can't call him what I call him. Yeah. For everybody else, you have to call him Mr. John Blast today because he deserves that that respect. So, so we still waiting for him to pop back in. Um, hopefully his phone was dead and died. <laughs> in the meantime, how was your week? In the meantime, week was good. Um, you know, we working on some new things for all my, all my listeners out there. Uh, 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 we working on a new issue, man. Everybody saying y'all ain't came out in a minute. Everybody is clamoring the streets and saying, yo, where y'all at? Where y'all at? Like yo, we just discussed, this stuff takes time, guys. Takes time, yo. Just hold on. <laughs> Y'all just stick with we us. We got something this. hot for y'all. We got something hot for you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We scheduled to drop June 1st or 2nd. Oh, yeah. Or 3rd. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got to give a full day. I'm just, just saying, know. you just know, this, know. Is, this is ours. We can right. do what we want when we want. You know what I mean? So, you know. It's, got a it's, nice hot lineup. We got a nice hot lineup line for you. You know what I'm saying? You know, we got, we got some surprises on deck, too, mm -hmm. yo. It's gonna be a lot of people that's gonna make it in the magazine this time. That's gonna make it in this issue that didn't even know that we was getting ready to lock them down. You know what I'm saying? That's so we got John Blasty game back in the building. You know what I'm saying? We getting ready to pull him back in. Here we go. Hey, listen, I don't yes, know sir. about this in and out shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, God. Well, 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 you've been lucky to be able to teach <laughs> and be with some professionals. So there it's you okay. Go. You know what I'm saying? When you go and come. We make sure it's all right till you get back. There you go. There you go. <laughs> but, but I, you know, as I was saying, and I wanted to bring this out, you know, Dwayne and uh, Dwayne Love, and we had a magazine called Us Quarterly. Okay. All right. Now, the magazine, he, he agreed to putting on the show to promote the magazine. All right. We did it at a place called the Town and Campus. Mm. Okay, um, uh, it's, no, it's no longer there. Now it's a dorm because they had a college across the street called King College. Back then it was called North State College. Uh, they made dormitories out the place now. But anyway, uh, we did the event. My cousin Jennifer was one of the top models back in that day, Jennifer Bryce. Okay, she coordinated the show. We brought in uh, Quiet Fire and, as I said, Peggy Diller. But we took models that were trying to break into the industry, lo local models, to okay. put that show on. I mean, we had a show that, I mean, you would not believe it. I wish I had video back then showing that show, mm -hmm. okay? People came from all over, all right? I mean, uh, and that, that back then we gave dinners, and I, I had put in for 350 dinners. Do you know I had, we had to uh, do like another uh, 500 dinners that night wow. because of the, yeah. Wow. Okay, I got, uh, the, the, and the place took advantage of me, you know, the system back then. That we were charging, I uh, think it was $15 a dinner for dinner, and, and, uh, and they said, well, listen, you got to pay us another fifty. <laughs> so that's why I don't do dinners anymore. <laughs> okay, but people love the event. 
Unfortunately, the magazine didn't didn't make it. But from then on, from 1976 up until 2020, when they had the, the pandemic, I did my three shows a year. Wow. And when the pandemic came, it's the only time that I could not put on a show. And it was because of the pandemic. Wow. Okay. So, so, and we've been doing those shows every year. We've helped models. We've helped designers, yes. uh, makeup, hair people. Yes. <clears throat> In fact, one of my models, and her name is Deborah Shaw. All right. It's one of the top models today in Paris. She mm. was from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. If you Google her, you'll see. And uh, Deborah would have met and never made it to Paris because you know she was on urban area, urban uh, okay. area, okay. But when she went over there, she uh, she got with an agency, and and she lives in Paris right now. Since 1989, when she won, won, won my show, she has lived in Paris, okay, and still there today. Right. Mm. And, okay. and for all my listeners don't know, not only does you've been helping out in the model field, so there's been a lot of artists. You know, whether oh, it's yes. R&B uh, we or, work or, or R&B and, or, right, uh, well, we do that artist showcase. And comedian, because I, I yeah. you, and you met Bob Sumner. Yeah, I've absolutely met Bob Sumner. It was, <laughs> At my, mm -hmm. yeah, and uh, Bob, who did Def Jam, uh, Bill, uh, Bill Bellamy, Bob discovered Bill Bellamy, he discovered yeah. Bernie Mac, Dave mm -hmm. Chappelle, yeah. okay, and many, many, many more, right. all right? Uh, Def Jam comedy. Bob was the, vi the, the vice president of Def Jam. The Bob had the idea. It was Bob's idea. But again, here we go again. Russell Simmons had the money. Right. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So you know, and and uh, as I said, uh, I work and hey, I work with T.J.K. Slate. Mm-hmm. Okay. When well, then the rest is so. But, yeah. you know, I, he had a magazine called Straight Stunt. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I helped him get the magazine started. Okay. And get it out there. Right. Okay. And, uh, he, it, it, you know, it, I have a video of him to, it, it, him saying, hey, wherever Mr. Blasting Game is, I'm going to be. Because if it right. wasn't for him, I wouldn't have had this magazine out, you know? No question. And I can echo that. Like I, you know, if 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 that's not the only place that somebody has said that, because mm -hmm. when they ask me when I'm on interviews, that's one of the things that I say. If it don't be for Mr. John Blasigan, there may not be no media made. So, mm -hmm. or the media made the way it is today. Let's just say that exactly, exactly. Right, right. right, right. I mean, so you, uh, uh, you know, and we've had, you know, we have uh, other publications. Um, as I said, Sheen Magazine, Black Link Magazine. Word she, up, right? she, yeah, she exists. Magazine, all yeah. right. Uh, uh, these are, and now we have a new women's magazine called Women Straight Talk Magazine. Wow. Okay, that's out there today. You know, and you know we're helping them get into uh, places like Books a Million and Barnes and Nobles. Okay, and 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 uh, on the newsstands across the country. Okay, mm -hmm. but that's that's what we do. We work to try and help publications uh, taking it to a new level. But as you see, and as you know, and Sam, you know very well that the so uh, the social media has put a damper into yes. into the print media. Yes. Okay. Um, every and most of the folks, the young folks today, they have that little device in their hands, mm -hmm. and they use that thing to do everything. Right. To connect to the net, that that's their way of connecting today. Okay, is through that little device. I mean, 
right. you know, uh, uh, if, uh, if, uh, TikTok. If work, and, uh, right. If we didn't work as hard as we work and do <clears> things <throat> we do, we'd be out of business. Them little boxes, exactly. Them little, them little devices that people have in their hand would put people like me and yourself out of business. It you know, would, but because it, exactly. Because we stay ahead of what we do, always having to reinvent ourselves. Always exactly. To yeah, I mean, consistencies yeah. overcomes resistance. Absolutely. And uh, we, 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 you know, uh, we're still here. We're still doing it. We're still making it happen. Uh, we're still doing our shows. In October, we'll be doing our uh, Halloween fashion weekend that we do every year. Okay. Um, you know, uh, we're making it happen for the young folks. Yes. And, and and young black folks have to understand, again, what's going on in the world today. Yes. Don't, 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 you know, they got to understand that this is not a joke. This is not this a is game. Something, this is something that they're doing. It's, this is all calculated mm -hmm. to, to make and take you out what yes. they're doing today. And Absolutely. if you're not strong, okay, and it's going to happen, okay? They're trying to eliminate us, mm -hmm. okay? And I'm just, you know, I mean, you, you, you understand where I'm coming you know, from. I definitely understand. You know, one of the conversations that, you know, not one of, a lot of the conversations that me and you have had, you know, throughout the years <laughs> is about picking up the baton and being able to keep us moving forward. You know exactly. What I'm and 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 then I'm a person that does that. Like you know, learning from you, I don't have a problem passing that on or certain stuff on because you can't tell everybody anything. You can't teach me anything, John. Because you know. Well, I know, I know. But you know, <laughs> the one thing we have to teach them, we have to teach them to have your own. As long as someone else is controlling. What right. you got, right. you know, you will never, never be in control. Right. Okay. And that's very, they that's will manipulate. Very, very important. Yes. People have their own, and I think a lot of people live in fear, so they stay stagnant and stay stuck in that in that mind frame of just in working in corporate America instead of actually working for themselves. Yeah, but but th that's what they want you to think. Right. right. They want you, you to feel passion. that way. You know, yeah, right. they want you to be comfortable right. collecting mm -hmm. a check. Right. Rather than controlling your own destination. Right. Okay. Right. As Absolutely. long as you don't have your yeah. own, they control you. Anybody mm -hmm. that, uh, that, that, as you work for a check, your boss controls you because you'll never make no more than he makes. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. And he will take, make sure that he keeps you under his thumb. Absolutely. Okay. So yes. that that's what we have to start looking at in our community no is doubt. starting to see how we can control our destiny. Mm -hmm. I wish that I, man, I, I've made so much money for Marriott, Sheraton. Okay. Mm -hmm. Imagine if we had our own venue, right? Okay, to work out of, okay, and and I mean, there's so many ways that we can uh, that we can look at and say, why don't we have our own? Yeah, and we look at and 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 it starts with, you yeah. know, we look at Africa today. Mm -hmm. Okay, our the motherland. Look what they're doing over there, China. America, okay, the natural resources are there. Why aren't we control? Why don't that? Why is that not a that con a continent instead of a twenty different nation? Why can't they get together and develop their own instead right. of having uh, someone outside come in, develop it, and and own it? And you're the, and the people never, never, never gets the benefits of it mm. because they are controlling it. Right. No question. You know, this is what, you know, and, and that's again why I say to our young folks, have your own, have develop your own, your own. Mm. because if you don't, 
they'll continue to control you. No question about that. So we got to the we go we we up against it, man. But before we go, we ain't going nowhere just yet. But tell everybody what you got coming up. Some of the things <laughs> that you inspired to do within the next, because you're always doing something. Yeah, well, uh, hey, listen, we got, uh, again, as I said, Halloween Halloween Fashion Weekend, uh, October the 27th, 28th, and 29th, three days. Okay. Uh, we got, you know, we got an artist showcase for young artists that are trying to make it to the next level. Mm -hmm. We're bringing in Rob Love from Def Jam, uh, former vice president of Def Jam. Yep. We got uh, Nico uh, from uh, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta coming out. Uh, we got uh, we got of course Bernard Bronner. We got a time to grind. Big Seven coming down. You know, yes. oh, yes. a lot of folks from that industry. Uh, uh, we we uh, you know we have uh, the uh, folks from the uh, the magazines. Sheen will be there. Uh, of course, uh, upscale will be in the house. Okay, uh, we got. We even got these these folks uh, from uh, you know from Pazza, the cosmetic company. Yeah, uh, that that'll be coming out, and and you know I've helped. I don't know whether you, and, anybody. And, and I, know, I don't know whether. On that. I want to touch on that because a lot of people don't understand. That not only what you do, you know, you got the makeup people who have benefited from a lot of the different things. You have the designers that have benefited from a lot of the different mm -hmm. things. We talking hair designers, we talking shoe designers, we talking developers and themselves. We talking part of the black industry owes a lot to you, Mr. Black. Yeah. Well, you okay. know, uh, let me just say this. Um, you know who Melanie Holt is? Yes. Okay, uh, anybody that knows Melanie Holt, uh, uh, she got the TV show now. Well, I set up the whole deal with her lipstick line with Posner. Wow. I brought that whole thing together. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, uh, we, uh, you know, um, oh, by, by the way, we're, we're trying to get, uh, and we're talking with Bambi, Bambi from Atlanta, her publicist now, to try to get her to come out. Okay. okay for the show in October, all right? So it's, it's going to be a real, real nice situation there. Absolutely. All right? Yeah. And, uh, and, 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 and Media May going to be there. I'm going to be there this time. I, I was going to say, I was getting ready to say it, Sam, you beat me to the punch. I was getting ready to say Media May didn't have Yeah, and, I don't need here. you. I don't need you calling me and cursing me out. And, you know what I mean? There you go. There you Everybody go. Everybody you, know, you a nice guy. What the heck yeah. happened to you, Doc? What right, the matter? Right. Yeah. Mother, 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 oh, mother. you know, I'm I, like, I, okay. Sam, you know, I, was, I, I, I did the, um, I coordinated the swimsuit show right. for uh, for the ghosts. Wow. Killer ghosts? This yeah. Last night at this uh, Brooklyn skate ring. Yeah, for Ghost Killer. Ghost killer. Yeah. I need yeah. to be there. See, I, I should have been there. I, I could have gave you yeah. a break. Yeah. And yeah. Did my it would, yeah. But you know, uh, uh, you know, the, a, lot, the, a lot of the Wu Tang, they're still fighting amongst each other. So it wasn't <laughs> everybody was wasn't there. But it, right. but, but it was nice. It was nice. Yeah. They still, yeah, they I still brought, do I the brought this, thing. They I, all right. I the, be right. Yeah. I brought the swimsuit uh, thing yeah, together. You know Janaea. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Jenea, yeah. Well, she asked me to put the swimsuit show on. And you did your thing, like always. Like always, you know. Hey, yeah. for all my listeners out there, man, once again, man, I want to let y'all know, man, we talking to the great John Blaster Game, publicist, promoter, producer, overall entrepreneur, always a leader in our community, man. Listen. Hey, no, let them know who they can reach you. So it's also so here's one thing that we didn't let them know. They're probably looking for John Blaster Game, but they, what they don't understand is that but the brand is New Day Associates. Yeah, it's under New Day Associates on Instagram. It's uh, one word: New Day Associates. Uh, if you Google, you Google John Blaster Game Publisher. Uh, we're doing the website, but it's under construction now. So you know okay. we'll we'll be getting that. Uh, you know, back up, 
but uh, they can Google me or they can go to my Instagram or they can go to John Blassingame on social media on Facebook. All right. And, uh, you know, they'll see the many years. Yes, sir. The many years that I have put uh, these uh, things together and the many folks that I've worked with. And, and of course, you know that I work with Will Packer, as I said to you yeah. earlier. Yeah. Uh, Will used to come to my show the many a times. And, um, you know, before, uh, you know, uh, he, he blew up to the status he is now. Okay. And, uh, you know, he, he's doing his thing. And God bless him. God bless yeah. him. Absolutely. You know, so you know and we are both, go ahead, finish. You know, I was gonna say, and uh, you know, but we we are gonna continue to move forward, absolutely, and make some things happen. Mm -hmm. And Sonny in the quiet corner, <laughs> how you doing? I am good, you sir. Know, how are you? You know, you know uh, just listening, look, just listening I, you to know, the wisdom and the knowledge. I, you, too, you, you, know. you, you get your accolades so many times from Sam, he said, Sonny. The best. The I best. found, you know, I found right. the person that really works with me and really make it happen with me. He said, and she ain't going nowhere. <laughs> she ain't going nowhere. I found her. I got me in the rough. She ain't going nowhere. You know what I mean? Like, you listen, man, you just take go. it easy. You know what I'm saying? Wipe the dirt off and let's get back to it, goddammit. I appreciate the love and receive <laughs> everything. I'm a businesswoman at first. So, like, I, I just get, I like to get things done, you know? Yeah, that's obvious. Always, that I'm, is I'm obvious. <laughs> no, you put that. Yeah, hey, listen, you definitely put that time in. I'm telling you. Yes. And, and John, thank you for letting her know that. Because uh -huh. I tell her that all the time, a lot of times. And I give her the accolades from everybody well, she's else. It, you know, yeah, I hear you, but she's hearing it from an outside source. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. I is he uh, I you know I see her on social media. She's doing a thing, boy. Yeah, thank you, thank you. And yeah, that's, that's wonderful. Yeah, and, I, and then I, I want to take it back real quick to that message that you said earlier when you uh when um you had touched base on it's hard for us to to get around certain things, but I always say too in my mind, all you need is one yes. There you go. You know what I'm saying? Because if that's one all you need. Says no, that doesn't mean that that company won't circle back around to you. So. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So you, you got to go. It's like a, a, you know what? It's like a brick wall. But if you keep pounding, keep hitting you're going to get something. You It's either going to break or you're going to get an indentation. Right. And I get okay. many, many, Persistence. many. <laughs> Persistence overcomes that resistance. Yeah. Yeah. And I get all, many and as like, you just I said, do. all you need is one yes. All you yeah. need is one yes. Okay. Yeah. And uh, and once you get that, hey, that yeah. changes the whole climate of things, don't it? Yeah. It changes the whole climate. You say, okay, now the rain has stopped. Now mm -hmm. the sunshine comes. Now sun goes shine. There so, comes sunny the sun. <laughs> that the sun got it. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Hey, Mr. John Blaster Game, I want to thank you once again for coming out. You know what I'm saying? Hey, my pleasure. Well, it's a Just pleasure to be to be here and uh, to be with you guys. And uh I hope I hope that I had opened up someone's eyes today because that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Motivation and inspiring someone to say, Hey, I can do that. I yeah. can do that. I can make a difference in my life. Absolutely. Uh, if you can just touch one person yes. in this thing they call living, mm -hmm. you have accomplished your goal. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so let me just say this before you go, and I say this to all to all my listeners. May you be blessed in all the things that you do every day, and may you prosper in each and everything that you do, each and every day that you do it, my brother. Amen. 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 Take care, John. Enjoy. Enjoy. God bless. God bless.